Hi everyone, it's Lee here. Thanks for joining me. Now I just wanted to show you through my completed fairy book. I'm um, sorry, I was going to show you how I made the pockets and all that sort of stuff, but things happened and um, I didn't get around to doing it. So I have completed the book. So um, this is the way it looks. So that is approximately five inches wide. You can see how thick it is there. So the covers are this texturized cardboard. It's got embossing, copper and gold embossing on the ridges and around the edge. And underneath there's all sorts of inks have been used to create the colour. On the front it's the same except that it has a fairy and some other adornments on there. The binding is a really simple method, just three holes with eyelets on each cover and each page within the book. And that's a uh, seam binding there, is what holds it together. So that can be adjusted if you were to ever put more into the book. You could um, make, add your own pages in there if you wanted to. It's just a matter of undoing that and either tying it back up with your new pages in or replacing it with something a bit longer. So the closure is another simple closure. So just two eyelets with the same seam binding and um, they're just tied together and tied in a bow. Quite simple. Okay, so I'll open it up and show you what's inside. So there's only six feature pages inside the book, so they're nice sturdy pages. So inside the cover there's a pocket. Inside the pocket there is this little folder and it opens out. And it also opens up and down. So that's all journaling space there. So I've used uh, sari silk as the hinges to keep that all together and just decorated it with a little bit of uh, um, washi tape and to put it back in it's the top and bottom ones go in then the back one folds in and then the front one and that's the front just got a little bit of um, more washi tape there plus a little flower and a couple of Tim Holtz labels on there so that sits in there the next page features one of the little fairies, so the flower fairies, and we've got uh, this red lace. Um, this is part of a doily, and that's a bit more of the same doily. If you want to see how these pages were actually made, in my previous video I showed you how they were done, and there's a link for that just in the top right hand corner. So that page is just purely decorative. When you turn over, got a half circle pocket here and we've got a little collection of goodies inside here just some odds and ends um, that's one of the fairies out of the book so you could use that as a little journaling spot but I've also got this little notebook here made from coffee dyed paper that goes in there this page is decorated with a fairy and it's got this golden uh, fabric underneath a little scrap of some purple and green fabric and a cluster of odds and ends there also got a little tie on here um, this is held on with a pin so the purchaser can remove it if they want to and put it somewhere else so this page is decorative as well on the other side I have a bit of a belly band here and inside the belly band I've got another little folder it can be used for writing on journaling so another fairy journaling card this one with the flower on the top and then I've got this round one uh, it's just plain on one side and decorative on the other so that will sit in there as well over here we've got another fairy 
uh, on a fabric and lace background with a flower down the side. Behind here is a pocket and at the moment there's just a little card with a dangle on it. Room for more. Over here we've got another half circle. Got a little journaling card with a stamped bird on it and a piece of handmade paper. So it can open up, it's that big. This is another decorated page uh, just for looking at. So that's the same doily that uh, fe featured up on the red one with the fairy and some lace and some little um, embroidered daisy chain there. And that one's just got a little bead hanging off it. Over this side we have a corner pocket, sort of, if you can have a corner in a circle. Got another little journaling card here. And another circle journaling card. That one opens up. Pops back in there. This is a belly band with underneath this fairy. Stained flowers there. Um, they're die cuts, same as this one. Uh, and the fairy sits on the middle of the belly band. And that's an A4 size piece of coffee dyed paper popped in the back there. Over here, got another little pocket. That's just, um, was out of the book, the fairy book that I cut the images out of. So I thought that was a nice little image. I just popped it in there. Uh, another journaling card, little journaling card, and then a piece of tea dyed paper for journaling on. Here we have an, some more of those flowers. Got another fairy. We've got this lace cluster that goes around the edge of the page, and that's purely decorative again. Got another little side pocket here. Got another one of the fairies in there, so it's a little round journaling card. Another scrap of tea dyed paper, and a couple of journaling cards here, round ones. Thing along in there. And in the back pocket, this is like a corner tuck. I've uh, got a little notebook that I've made out of scraps of paper. It's a bit of a gel print and that's a little pocket there, a little envelope. Um, you can actually put stuff in there if you so desired. Like so. And then this book here. It's a trifold. So it's got some journaling paper on, in that pocket, a little tag and some more journaling paper in there, another round journaling spot, some uh, coffee dyed paper journaling on, and on the front there's another piece of a gel print, same one that's on the other little book. folds up and pops back in there and that's the back cover. So due to the nature of the book, the way it's bound, it's not a rigid book, it um, will move around um, but you've got give in those uh, ribbons there that, that allow the book to sit flat if you need it to and as I said, if you wanted to add more pages into it, you could. I'm going to close it up. It's just a matter of tying these ones off. And there it is. So this one will be going into my Etsy store soon. I have got somebody who is interested in it though, so if they don't end up buying it, it'll be in the Etsy store. So that's the little circle fairy book. Very pretty, very cute, it's adorable, love it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that little, little show and tell. So thanks for watching the video and hope to see you in my next video. And I'll say cheers from Australia. Hooroo!